Hi there. For today, we'll be discussing about the modulus of a complex number, right? The modulus of a complex number, right? So try to watch out our previous class on introduction of complex number. We have did the addition of complex number, the multiplication, subtraction, and even the division of complex number. So try to check the description of this video. I'll drop a link to our previous class on complex number. For today, let's dive into the modulus of a complex number. Let's explain this concept. Given a complex number, given a complex number, um, given a complex number z to be equal to a plus i b. Given a complex number z to be equal to a plus i b, the modulus of this complex number is written as this to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So given a complex number z to be equal to a plus i b, the modulus of the complex number z, z will become this. So if I see, if I'm given a complex number and I'm supposed to find um, something of this nature, it means I'm supposed to find what? The modulus of, um, right, of complex number z, right? So it's not equal in value to a squared as this a plus b squared, the coefficient of i, or per se, um, um, okay, per se, b becomes b squared here yeah? so pick out the real numbers right a and b are real number so pick out a and pick out b right i is the image is imaginary number which is equal to negative one right all right at this point here so if i'm giving a complex number to find its modulus is quite simple simply take the real number and square them and sum them up right example let's take an example to further explain this concept example one Example one, given a complex number z to be equal to three plus four i, the modulus of this complex number is written as z in this case is equal to the square root of three. Yeah, represents uh, my a. Yeah, so which is what a squared. I have three r squared plus my b here represents my 4 here. Yeah? 4 represents b here, yeah? which is b squared here. Yeah? I'll have 4 squared. Let's get a modulus of this complex number. The modulus becomes the square root of 3 squared gives 9 plus 4 squared gives 16. Sum them up, the modulus becomes the square root of 25. If I take the square root of 5, I'll have 5 as my modulus or perhaps the magnitude of the complex number here. Yeah. All right, let's take, take example 2 on this concept here. Yeah. If I have a complex number z to be equal to 1 minus i, the question says find, find the modulus of the complex number z. How do we find the modulus of the complex number? We said the fact is quite simple. Take the square root of the real numbers. I have one here. Yeah? It becomes 1 squared plus the coefficient of i is simply minus 1 here. Yeah? Minus 1 all squared. My task say now is to simplify this. It means that the modulus or perhaps the magnitude of this complex number here yeah, is written as the square root of 1 squared gives 1 plus minus 1 squared gives 1. How? If I have minus 1 all squared, this simply means minus 1 multiply minus 1. From the rule of sign, minus multiply minus gives plus. 1 times 1 gives 1. So it means that 1 and plus 1 are the same thing. If that is true, I'll have that my modulus of have the magnitude of this complex number z to be equal to 1 minus i will give root 2 as my answer after finding the modulus or perhaps you call it magnitude of this complex number so let's try to take one more lax example and end this 
concept. All right, example three. Example three. Example 3 says, given a complex number z to be equal to 2 over 3 plus 3 over 2i, the question says, find the modulus of this complex number. This is first, um, to find the modulus of a complex number, what we, what we know is that z is equal to the square root of this one here, 2 over 3 all squared plus 3 over 2 all squared. Pro proceeding from here, if I proceed from here, it means that the modulus of this complex number here will be equal in value to the square root of apply the concept of indices. For one, what we know generally from indices, if I have A over B all to power C, this can be broken down as Pick out A first, all over, pick out B. This C here, distribute it here, distribute it here. I have this, this is indices. I apply this um, concept or technique to this one here. It means that this will be having two, sorry. It means that I'll be having two over three, as in this case. Then I'll put a square here and a square here as the same, um, Similar to this technique here. So plus, I have a plus sign here. The same um, technique applies to this one here. So you have 3 squared all over 2 squared. Proceeding from here, the modulus of this complex number here will be equal in value to the square root of 2 squared give 4 all over, this is 9 here, plus, this is 9, all over 2 squared gives 4. My LCM here is of course 36. Get the LCM here. I'll have that the modulus is equal in value to what's the LCM of 9? 4. 36. 36 in this one here is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 36 in 6 we give um, 9. And that's 9 is 81. If I add them up, if I add 16 plus 81, I'll have 97 all over root over 36. Sorry, 36. At this point here, I apply the concept of sort. The concept of sort says that if I have the square root of a over b, this can be broken down as root a over root b. I apply this technique here. This means that. I'll Applying the concept here, this means that I will have the square root of 97 all over root 36. Of course, nothing can give 97. I'll have root 97 all over root 36 is what is 6. It means that the modulus, or perhaps the magnitude of this complex number is written, is, is given as root 97 all over 6 as my answer after solving this um one yeah so can um if you if you um understand all this concept do well to like our video subscribe to my channel and leave a good and and constructive comment in this um comment section below also do well to reach out by look, uh, watching our previous classes on complex number. If you are interested in joining my WhatsApp group, simply check the description of this video. You see a link there that will take you to my WhatsApp group where you get updated to our latest um, content, right? Both in physics, math, chemistry, and other science-related courses. See you in our next class.